Hey there, girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a reporter for Channel 8. I'd like to interview you about the new uniform policy. Wouldn't you like to be on TV? Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. Miss, what can you tell me about this new uniform policy? Well, we all have to wear brown bottoms and white tops with ties. The principal thinks it's stylish, but I think it's going to, like, seriously limit our freedom of expression and creativity. Supposedly, it's going to be less distracting. Like, oh, yeah, I find myself so distracted by everyone's freaky clothing. We're just going to look like lemmings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, I'm just, I'm real happy this is going to be on TV. It's important to listen to teens. <coughs> Great. Thanks. That should be just plenty. That'll be airing tonight at 6. Thanks. School District will begin a policy of mandatory uniforms for all students. I spoke with several teens today and was surprised to find them overwhelmingly positive. Miss, what can you tell me about this new uniform policy? Well, we all have to wear brown bottoms and white tops with ties. I I think it's stylish. It's going to be less distracting. I find myself so distracted by everyone's freaky clothing. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy this is going to be on TV. It's important to listen to. That's not what I said. I saw you on TV last night. Um, so what? My mom said, wow, your friend Elena sure thinks uniforms are great. Then she told me not only will I have to wear the uniform, she's going to throw all my other clothes away because she hates them. Molly, you saw me get interviewed. I was like completely misquoted. I didn't say anything about liking the uniforms. Yes? Can I help you? Uh, hi. You interviewed me yesterday. And? You, you mangled my words. You cut them to bits. Oh. Sorry, kid. I want you to air a retraction. It isn't fair. <laughs> you can try another station but I'm not going to do that. But I... Ugh. Yes, young lady? Um, well, I was interviewed for Channel 6 News the other night, right? And they really messed up what I said. Mm-hmm. Well, I... I asked Channel 6 to air a retraction, and they refused, so I thought maybe Channel 8 could air an expose. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. But isn't there anyone I could... No. Oh. You okay? Hey guys. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god, I have so much to tell you. I've been up all night reading, and it's like, ah, uh, it's just amazing. 
I've been learning all about media issues. Did you have any idea? See, okay. After I got interviewed the other day, I was so mad. All I could think about was what a smug jerk Joel Stafford is. And then I found out that Channel 8 and 6 and the newspaper are all owned by one company. So I thought there has to be more to this, right? And it's not just him. It's this whole system. Like only Seven companies own 75% of all cable channels. Uh-huh. And there are only six companies that own most of the media in this country. Not only that, but many of them hold stock in each other. So there are board members that work for multiple media giants. They've all got their hands in each other's pockets. Each year, it is more likely that the American citizen who turns to any medium will receive information, ideas, or entertainment controlled by the same handful of corporations. Okay, we get it. But what does this all mean, Elena? Thomas, if there was one person who decided to tell you that 2 plus 2 equals 5, you wouldn't believe her, right? Well, that's because there are plenty of other people to tell you that it equals 4. But if that one person was the only person you could ever ask, you would probably believe her, just because you didn't have any other options. I, I think I, I get it. But what can we do? Well, the thing is, nobody knows about this, so we have to tell people. We can start small. I have an idea, and you are going to help me. Are they coming? They should be here any minute. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Lunchroom food has got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Lunchroom food has got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Lunchroom We are live at King High School hey, hey. with breaking ho, news. Students are holding a demonstration hey, against the lunchroom, ho, saying no. We don't really care one bit about the lunchroom. I'm here to tell you how the news really works. I was defiled by this reporter, but the more I learned about the media, I saw it wasn't just about him. It's about this whole system of media conglomerates that exist mainly for profit. They don't even care about the news, but there are alternatives. Support community television, make your own media, and, and read independent journalism, and watch public television, and take everything with a grain of salt. Everything. Even this. Time I spent, do I miss? 